Hi, Adam here. Today I would like to show you how to prepare interactive component of a button in Figma. But this won't be a standard button. It will include some kind of special effect. It will be a highlight that will be visible while you are hovering over its content. Curious how to make it? Let's dive in. Okay, let's start with this simple setup. We've got a button component and we got a prototype that will uh, demonstrate our interaction. For now, nothing is happening. To create this effect of a highlight, we have to prepare special frames. We will call them, obviously, highlight. First will be highlight default. Second will be highlight hover because our effect will initiate on hover. Let's create a variant group from them. And for the hover, we will enable the fill and add layer blur effect. Let's make it 16 and maybe round the corners a bit for the better effect. Okay, so we have our two variants. Now we have to add an interaction to them. Simply drag the arrow from the one to the second frame and select while hovering. I think that this setup will be good enough. The smart animate is crucial here. Okay, let's get back to the design and let's paste our default hover highlight inside of the button and test if it works. Yes. As you can see, it's highlighting, but it does not have this special effect yet. We need to create a grid of these highlights. We got single row, let's group it and duplicate. So we got the entire grid. Let's call it a grid and move below the label. Now let's test our prototype. As you can see, we've got our effect. For better visuals, we can change the color. We can play with layer blending and eventually modify the interaction itself. Let's check that. You see, it looks very well. Now I would like to show you some kind of bonus. The reflection of the light that will be moving on the top of the button's edge. Uh, how to prepare it? You may notice this special layer that includes reflection component. This component is actually set of button backgrounds that includes an oval with radial gradient. It is connected uh, in a series of interactions that lands after the delay, as you can see here, after one millisecond. For this interaction, it stays for a bit longer, so the reflection will shine. And then the fading effect to the edge. 
finally we will wait two seconds before the animation loops. So how is it structured within a button? You may see it here. It is the background of the button. Then we got the rectangle that is responsible for the fill. So if we could hide it, we can see the entire reflection layer. Now we created the illusion of the stroke around it. Let me show you how it works. Now you can see this beautiful reflection and our interaction of the highlight is happening in the meanwhile. A very beautiful component. If you like this tutorial, feel free to subscribe my channel. Also, please share your results. I can't wait to see what you create using this effect. See you soon.